Welcome back to Best of Wisconsin Homes. You're watching our Community Spotlight series, and uh, we're exploring the community of DeForest and Windsor today. We're in the school district with Dr. Tates, and she's a superintendent here, and uh, excited to have you on the show. Thank uh, you. We're excited to be featured. Awesome. I'm so, so excited and would love to hear so much more about this amazing school and the district and, uh, sure. and everything that makes it kind of special and unique. So if you wouldn't mind maybe sharing a little more with our viewers about the, uh, the DeForest Area School District. Sure. So our district proudly serves over 4,100 students. We have six community sites for 4K. We have three elementary schools, one intermediate school, which we happen to be in, um, and is only in its third year, so it's a relatively new school. And then we have one middle school and one high school. We are very fortunate to have about 100 extracurricular activities for our students. That, that seems um, like a lot, holy It cow. is, it's amazing. Our students have so many opportunities and that's because of our community. They support us. Yeah. Absolutely. What, uh, um, so what, anything that stands out to you as some of the highlights that you're really proud of or kids let, enjoy the most about it? Yes, yeah, so we actually are, we're pr very proud of our community partnerships. Mm -hmm. So our businesses and area community um, organizations help support our schools. We have activities that uh, range from anything from uh, field trips out to businesses and manufacturing sites. Um, we have connections to things like robotics um, and opportunities that, uh, again, our partnerships have given us. We're very fortunate to have that. Absolutely. I've noticed definitely a lot of, a lot of good place for businesses to kind of grow, and the growth in this community has been pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I saw something about their, it's the Norskis, is that right? Yes, yes. What, what, what exactly is a Norski? What is that? Sure. So um, a Norski is Norwegian. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's to honor the Norwegian heritage in the area. Um, however, Norski means a lot more than that to our Norski nation. So our school district is very proud of being Norskis. And it means, again, more than just being Norwegian. Okay. Um, it means actually caring about the world, being a hard worker, all of the skills and attributes that we want in our students that graduate to be a part of our community, um, perseverance, all the social emotional learning skills that our students learn then get conveyed and portrayed out in the community. So being a Norski means a lot. And I think if you spent more time yeah. here and we're able to dig in with our, our students, you would see that. That hard work, determination, teamwork, all of that matters. Yeah. Much more than just our academics, which again, we're very proud of, yeah. but the whole child. And that's our Norski nation. That's a great, great attribute. I love that. I love that a lot. What? Uh, so those are all great things to strive for. What about maybe on the challenging side? What do you see as maybe some of the challenges for uh, the schools or a district or anything mm -hmm. like that that you see? So it, we uh, value our community partnerships and mm -hmm. our community has given so much to the school mm -hmm. district. Um, we also are struggling still financially like all schools, public schools in the state of Wisconsin. So it's a constant um, push and pull mm -hmm. of support and also um, our financial challenges with really the state budget and what we receive for funding. It continues to be an issue for all school districts and it's something that we uh, continue to overcome. Luckily, we have community support for our work. Mm -hmm. So again, that partnership is so important. Absolutely, that partnership between the business community and the schools, absolutely. Mm -hmm. What, uh, yeah, well, any other last uh, parting words? I mean, anything else yeah. that, uh, so that I forgot to mention that is important? To, yeah, uh, we're really excited know. about a couple things. Mm -hmm. um, we have our community also with the partnerships, we have something called Framework for Our Future. It's where we bring together our community into a large event where they get to help shape the vision of the district. That's coming up this fall again. We do this every five and 10 years. Um, so we count on the community to help build that vision and help us monitor our results. Um, and then the second thing that I'm really excited about, and I know the rest of the students and staff are too, is we have a new graduation requirement um, for our students to present their academic and career um, plans. Inside of those academic and career plans, students reflect upon, they present um, all the skills and attributes that I mentioned before about mm -hmm. being a Norski. Mm -hmm. um, and our community partners come in and actually sit on those panels and listen to our graduates reflect upon their experiences in school. So again, we look forward to that new graduation requirement being in place and our seniors being able to present their, their hard work. All right, well, so if someone was uh, maybe getting ready to start the new school year here in the DeForest Area School District, anything that they should uh, know about, maybe that's coming up in the future or things they should prepare for? 
Sure, thanks for asking. We are so excited to welcome our students. Right now we're in an empty school building. We want to thank all of our staff for working so hard this summer, for being ready in the buildings and with professional learning. And our students are, we are ready for you. We can't wait. Well, thanks again for uh, sharing all that information about the school district here in DeForest and Windsor and uh, all of the wonderful things you've got going on. Again, you're watching Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm Josh with Josh Lavick and Associates, and you're watching our Community Spotlight here in DeForest.